Hey everyone, good afternoon. It is Saturday and it's time for piano. <laughs> um, I'm real happy to be here. It's actually raining here. Um, so this is a nice little uh, break that I get to have from some sort of gloomy weather today. So anyway, I'm happy you're here. Hi, Monique. <laughs> I see you on there. So the first thing we're going to do today is, um, if you can, hit the share button in the bottom left corner of your screen. Let everybody know it's piano time. Uh, the second thing is a reminder to subscribe on YouTube. Find my channel, Izzy Chia, and uh, you can just hit that button. Uh, the third thing is, of course, join our private uh, piano lessons group called Encore Music Makers, and you can get feedback from me. All right, and then last but not least, go ahead and put the order in for your book. All right, you can find it on Amazon, uh, Barnes and Noble, and even the publisher's website, Alfred Music. Okay, all right, well, let's get started, all right? Okay, so we are in our book today, and we are going to review last week's songs, okay? So all that time you had spent this past week practicing, we're gonna get to show off a little bit, okay? All right, so on page 24, we're going to start with A Claire de la Luna, okay? I'm going to switch to Piano View, and we're going to find our spot, okay? So since A Claire de la Luna is a right-hand-only song, we're going to find that middle C, and we are going to place our right hand right there in right-hand C position, okay? Let's get ready to play A Claire de la Luna. It does have a repeat and it looks like it's piano, okay? All right, so I'll count off. One, two, ready, play. Did you do? Did you get through it? <laughs> Great job. All right, so that's a perfect little right hand C position song. Now let's switch to a left hand C position song. And our song for this week was Tisket a Tasket. Okay, this also does have a new dynamic sign if you recall uh, mezzo forte, right? And that's moderately loud. All right, so let's switch to piano view. Okay, let's find our spot, everybody. We're going to be in left hand C position. So I'm going to find my middle C to start. And I'm going to count down three notes. One, two, three. Okay? That note right there is your G. And that's where your finger one left hand goes, your thumb. I'll spread out my fingers. And we will get started, okay? Notice that Tisca to Tasket is four, four time. And there are no repeats in this song, okay? So we just play it through one time. All right, let's count off. One, two, ready, play. task it that was fantastic do you think that the tempo was okay was it too fast or too slow or was it just right okay great wonderful all right well let's turn the page then let's go over to page 26 okay this was um, reviewing our harmonic seconds and thirds if you can recall the song that we had learned with our harmonics was rockin intervals okay this one was probably the trickiest one that you had to practice for this week Okay, because it combined both melodic seconds and thirds as well as harmonic seconds and thirds. Okay, we also had the introduction of our new dynamic sign, forte, which is a strong, loud sound. Okay, 
We did have a repeat in this song, okay? All right, so if you're ready for rock and intervals, let's see if we can go through this one, all right? All right, wonderful. Let's switch to piano view. Okay, so we're in C position now, okay? We've got our right hand here at the middle C. I'm gonna count down my left hand. One, two, three notes, thumb on G, and fan out those fingers. Okay, are you ready? This is our tricky song. Let's count off. One, two, ready, play. You got through Tisket and Tasket, and you got through um, Au Claire de la Luna. I'm so proud of you guys. Wonderful work for today. Give yourself a pat on the back because you just finished these songs. All right. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> Very good. Oh, yes. Oh, Ethan, yes, I will send you a link to find the books to purchase, okay? Don't worry, I'll make sure that you and your mom get those links for your books. I'm happy to have you in class. <laughs> okay, let's get started on our new songs for this week, okay? So we are going to turn the page to page 28 in your book. We are going to learn about new intervals, okay? This is what it looks like. Okay, melodic fourths and fifths. Wonderful. Okay, so melodic fourths and fifths are very much like melodic seconds and thirds in that it's going to be notes played individually, okay? But the difference is, is that we are going to be traveling a further distance, okay? Melodic fourths are going to be skipping two white keys. Okay, so that would be, in essence, going from a finger 1C up to a finger 4 F, or going the opposite direction, or perhaps even going from a finger 2D up to a finger 5 G, or the opposite direction too. Wonderful. Now, if you notice, this also, when you look on the staff, that would mean that a fourth would be going a line note up to a space note or going from a space note to a line note. Why is this? Well, this is because when you're looking at the staff, you count up four from the note you're on, and you end up on one that's an opposite, either a line or a space, depending on what you start on, okay? Now, what about a fifth, right? A melodic fifth would be different, right? Because that would mean you would go from a line note to another line note, or a space note to another space note, depending on counting up those five notes, correct? So that would be going, in essence, from a finger one to a finger five, finger five down to finger one. Does this make sense? <laughs> Excellent, great, I'm so glad to hear that. Well, now we have to learn a song, right, that's going over these um, melodic intervals. Luckily, we have um, two songs here on this page, page 28, the first one being Good King Wenceslas, and this song 
has melodic fourths in it, okay? You are going to be playing with both hands because we have both the treble staff and the bass staff in this song, but there are no repeats, okay? So uh, let's see if we can perhaps play through this nice and slowly and see if we can learn this song, okay? All right, I'm excited. Okay, looking here at Good King Wenceslas, we are going to be in C position, so let's find our spot. All right, I'm there with my right hand. I'm gonna count down one, two, three with my left. And here I am. Wonderful. Now this piece is a strong forte, okay? It's in four, four time, and it begins on a finger four F for your right hand, okay? Let's see if we can play through this nice and slowly, okay? I'm gonna count off. One, two, ready, play. Up to G, F, F, down to C. Very good, there's your first fourth. Two, two. Now we switch our hands. Left hand finger two. Up to G, back to F, F, down a fourth to C. job, you notice that Good King Wenceslas does not have a repeat. But just because it doesn't have a repeat doesn't mean we can't play it again. Let's just play it one more time, okay? I'm sure you pointed out those um, melodic fourths in there, right? Okay, let's hear it once more. One, two, ready, play. Down to C. Wenceslas for you. Was it okay? Did you manage to get through the whole song? Great. <laughs> Good. See, your hard work is paying off, okay? And you notice how it feels now to play a fourth. Sometimes moving from a finger five or playing a finger four, it can be a little bit weaker because those are the weakest fingers on our hands. But as you practice your piano, those fingers will get stronger, okay? Good. All right, well, let's move on to my fifth. This is the second song that you're gonna be practicing this week at home, okay? This one, of course, has the interval of a melodic fifth, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see how this song goes. It looks to be a little bit different than uh, Good King Wenceslas. It says it's going to be four, four time. It's piano. And it says seriously at the top of it. Hmm, maybe that means playing it a little bit on the slower side, okay? I don't see a repeat in this one. And it looks like there's a surprise at the end because the end, the last two measures, the dynamic sign goes from piano to a forte, okay? So that looks like it's gonna be a surprise ending, all right? So you're gonna have to make that sound different as you're playing the song. Nice and quiet until you get to the last two measures and boom, nice forte at the end, okay? Let's see how this song goes. All right. Okay. At the bottom of 28, we are going to be in that C position once more. I've got my right hand here at middle C. I'm gonna count one, two, three, and there's my left hand thumb, and I fan it out, okay? Now let's start my fifth nice and quiet. All right. One, two, ready, play. Up to finger five. F, two, e, four, two, three, four, 
switch to the left hand. surprise ending wasn't it they did a good job now I realized that I ended up playing the last line a little bit too loud um, for the first half of it I was already thinking about that forte at the very end and I ended up coming in a little early <laughs> so I'm gonna play this piece once more and I'm gonna pay a little bit closer attention to the dynamics since I missed that part okay how did you like that song <laughs> It's actually kind of a funny song if you look at the lyrics. <laughs> it says, this is my fifth and maybe you've heard. Beethoven's fifth is only a third. Kind of like a riddle, huh? Do you know what they're referring to? Do you know Beethoven's fifth symphony? <laughs> you know the one that goes, ba 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 ba. It's because the interval at the beginning of Beethoven's fifth is actually a third. So it's kind of like a music joke. <laughs> Hopefully you laugh. If not, that's okay. Uh, let's play through my fifth one more time. Okay, switching over. Okay, so I'm in my C position. I found my spot. Are you in your spot? Fantastic. Okay. So let's try this again. I need to be more piano, okay? Maybe you do too, we'll find out. Let's count off. One, two, ready, play. now that we know that the lyrics are kind of silly. So there you go. That's going to be my fifth. All right. The second song that you're going to practice for this week. Okay. All right. Now we have one more song we're going to learn <laughs> and it is on page 30. So go ahead and turn the page in your book and I will show you what's on page 30. Okay. Harmonic fourths and fifths. Okay, so we learned last week about harmonic seconds and thirds, correct? And that means har you're creating a harmony, right? So you're playing notes at the same time. Well, in this case, because we've learned about fourths and fifths today, we're going to be playing them at the same time, right? So harmonic fourths and harmonic fifths, okay? It's going to be quite interesting, okay? Luckily, at the top of page 30, they have a practice line, okay? So this is going to be in that C position, okay? I'll switch to piano view so y'all can see this. Remember, we just played melodic, right? Individual notes. Well, now that we're doing harmonics, it is at the same time. So let's look at the beginning of that practice line, and we're going to do half notes. Starting with a fourth, fingers one and four on C and F. We have one, two, we're ready, play. Up to a fifth, hold, back to a fourth, up to a fifth. Now our left hand has a turn, a fourth, and then stretch to a fifth, shrink it to a fourth, and a fifth. We're going to repeat this. Let's hear the right hand. Four, two, and a fifth. And a fourth. And a fifth. Left hand fourth. And a fifth. Back to a fourth. And a fifth. Fantastic. That was great. <laughs> what did you think about that practice line? I feel like that really helps. It really helps. Um, understand the difference between melodic intervals and harmonic when we can actually hear it okay now 
we have our final song for this week to learn, okay? If you look right below your practice line, <laughs> we have the glorious jingle bells. <laughs> so lucky you, you're gonna get to learn a Christmas song <laughs> in the middle of uh, our COVID-19 uh, piano lesson series. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy it though. It's a lot of fun and it really does teach us some really important things. Okay, we've got both harmonic and melodic fourths and fifths in this song. So it is the perfect song to learn when we are trying to understand this concept. Okay, now I want you to take a look at this, scene, this song here. It is the longest song that we are learning to date. Okay, it is four lines long. Okay. <laughs> Seems overwhelming, but I promise you'll get it, okay? Notice that the left hand, you've got harmonic chords, okay? So I see harmonic chords all the way, almost through this entire song. There's just a couple measures here and there that have single notes, okay? When you learn songs this long, it's good to start hands apart, okay? Let's analyze the right hand line now, okay? It looks like we are playing the melody line, which is consisting of melodic intervals, right? So we've got the melody line, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, and the whole entire song is just melodic intervals all the way to the end, okay? So to begin this piece, Let's play just the left hand only, okay? Does that sound good, everyone? <laughs> fantastic. I know I keep saying fantastic all over, all the time. <laughs> That's okay. Let's switch to piano view. Excellent. So we are going to be here beginning Jingle Bells with a melodic, I don't know, excuse me, a harmonic fifth, okay? We're going to go through the whole piece, okay? Just the left hand only. All right, I'm going to count off. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now it switches to a fourth. Three, four. Back to a fifth. One, two, three, four. Now a single note D. Two, three, four. Up to G. Two. To a fifth, two, three, four, fifth, two, three, four, fifth, two, three, four, one more fifth, two, three, four, shrink it to a fourth, two, three, four, stretch to a fifth, two, three, four, fourth, two, and then your finger one, two, and end on a fifth, two. So how did that go? The left hand line was pretty straightforward. You notice now the interval, that harmonic interval of a fifth, you can really see when it's space note to space note or line note to line note. We have a lot of space note to space notes because that C to G in your uh, bass clef, bass staff is um, space note to space note. So it's really cool to see that in your music, okay? Now, if you did a good job going through that left hand, Let's see if we can do an equally good job with the right hand. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier because it's the melody line, right? And so we have melodic intervals to look for, okay? Be aware of that, all right? So let's switch back to piano view and we will find our spot for the right hand. Okay. So we are here and I am finding my spot. Excellent. Now. It looks like this uh, tempo is merrily. I'm gonna take it a little slower though because we are still learning this piece, okay? We also have forte. We'll be beginning on a finger three on E, okay? Let's count off together. One, two, ready, play. Up 
to G. Very good. Back to E. That was pretty wonderful. <laughs> Did you get through it all? It was a little tricky, wasn't it? Yeah, I think on the second half of the phrase where it says jingle bells, jingle bells, the jingle all the way, that measure, or that group of two measures can be really tricky. We need to remember that there's a fifth, a melodic fifth going from finger five down to finger one in order to make that correct jump, okay? Now let's see what else is going on here. On the second line at the very end, it says, one horse open sleigh, and then there should be a hay, right? So from sleigh up to hay, that's a fourth, right? So that's going from a finger two right hand up to a finger five uh, right hand G, right? So D up to G, there's your melodic fourth. I told you this song had both <laughs> melodic and harmonic fourths and fifths. All right. Now, let's see. I don't know if we could do it today, but we could definitely try. Uh, we're going to slow it down a little bit more, and we're going to try this hands together. Okay. Don't expect perfection today. This is the first time you've ever encountered a piece like this. Okay. So I will play it nice and slowly through, but as you're practicing, if it's getting too difficult, um, break it down into left hand and right hand only. And then when you're ready to put them hands together, you do it like super duper slow motion and put it together, okay? Gradually, as you get more confident in your notes, you can build up that tempo, okay? All right, let's try this. All right, so I'm here in my position. All right, I'm in my C position. Is everybody there? Excellent. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to count off nice and slow. Are you ready? One, two, ready, play. Was that really hard? <laughs> you did such a great job, okay? Even if you were just listening, it's important for you to use that active listening to in, uh, hear those interval changes within your song, right? Remember, like I said, you can take it as slow as you need to, okay? There's no rule that says you need to play it as fast as I do on the first or second try. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you take it as slow as you need. All right, gradually over this week, see if you can build up that tempo, okay? Now, in order for you to get the most out of these lessons that I'm giving you, join the group, join the Encore Music Makers, and you post a video of yourself playing a tricky spot in your songs, or you want review or my opinion on a certain section, you can absolutely do that. That's what that group is there for, right? Post something, ask for some help, and I can listen and I can help uh, guide you through a tricky section in your music, okay? Well, great. <laughs> That's your third song for this week that you'll be practicing, okay? Now, to review, we learned today 
melodic fourths and fifths, correct? We had individual notes playing in with a distance of a fourth or a fifth on the piano. We got good king wenceslas, which goes over our melodic fourths. We got my fifth, which goes over melodic fifths. We also learned about harmonic fourths and fifths, okay? These are playing notes at the same time with a distance of a fourth or a fifth. We got our final song for this week, Jingle Bells, right? This is a tricky one because it combines both melodic fourths and fifths and harmonic fourths and fifths, right? You can also play it as slowly as you need to, okay? Now, for theory for this week, we're going to do page 29, okay? That's going all over melodic fourths and fifths, right? And then we will also be getting harmonic fourths and fifths, okay? We have a page about that. Wonderful. So just two pages of theory for this week, all right? Excellent, excellent. I'm so proud of everybody for sticking with me. I know this is a tricky, tricky lesson today, but I'm very proud of you, okay? Just a quick reminder, I am accepting my tips. Um, if you'd like to help support these lessons that I'm giving for free, I would really appreciate the support. Um, I'm accepting PayPal. Um, you can type in EncoreMusicHTX at gmail.com. I also accept Venmo. My username is Izzy Chia. And Cash App. My username is IZZI3CH3A. Thanks so much. <laughs> Last but not least, we have our music quote, right? <laughs> so today's music quote, I'll just sort of let it simmer with you. Let's see what it means to you. It is from Jack Kerouac, and he says, The only truth is music. What do you think? <laughs> I think a lot of people can find a lot of truth in music, depending on how they're listening to it, right? I'll let you sit with that one. <laughs> Great job this week, guys. Um, super proud of you. Keep it up. Keep up the practice. Um, and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.